Of 43 NFL players surveyed, all 21 white players plan to vote for Donald Trump in the upcoming election, while 20 of 22 black players plan to vote for Hillary Clinton. Granted, this is a small sample size in a league of 1,700 players, but the numbers are pretty drastic. Whitlock, read between the lines. Do you believe the election is dividing NFL locker rooms? No, I, I really don't. And because, listen, I think as it relates to presidential election politics, it's always pretty pre divided. Black people, we tend to vote Democratic. Mm -hmm. uh, wealthy white people tend to vote Republican. So you can go back to Ronald Reagan versus Jimmy Carter and the same conversations were going on. I think now, do I think this election cycle happens to be more polarizing than perhaps any we've seen before? Yes. But if I were looking for things that might divide locker rooms along with Black Lives Matters and the national anthem protest, I think would be more of an issue than even this presidential election. Well, it's, it's interesting. A couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> I go work out occasionally. Doesn't look like it, but I do. <laughs> I was in my workout club and I saw two people get into a very heated debate over Trump. And I was like, Boy, I haven't seen that in my lifetime. They weren't doing that with Reagan and Carter. Huh. So I think it's dividing the country. I think it's hurting NFL ratings. It's, it's you know, we have a, the culture in America is changing. The demographics are changing, and Trump is old school, and Hillary is more about engaging the new America. I think it's very polarizing. I think it goes down racial, wealth, socioeconomic lines. And I, I do think, I, I, I honestly do. I, I've read three or four stories on this. Mike Freeman had a story, and I'm like, well, it divided my gym. Didn't it divide a oh, lot? Hold room? on, wait you a guys second. aren't trying to win a Super Bowl. Ray, I gotta ask. Tom Brady <laughs> had a "Make America Great Again" hat in his locker. No divided Patriots locker room, right? I mean, it, if you have a good football culture, maybe you can withstand this kind of thing. The, the one thing, the one thing that can withstand this is the NFL culture. We listen. First of all, if anybody is letting this, if this is a conversation in the locker rooms, we have a problem from day one, right? Because you can't, you, that, we can't control all that. That's one thing about our locker room. We have never allowed that mess in our locker room because that that's the last thing. You didn't thing. talk politics. You could ever. not. Not even when Obama you, was running listen, for president. You, you could anyway. not. Okay. It was it was a no-no because if you if you say the wrong thing, our relationship is over forever. That, 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 that's how close it is. Like, so when you came in there, whether you're Democrat or Republican, whether you like whoever it is, your mouth is shut. And like, okay, yeah, he wins the, he wins the election. And you move on, right? Because if, if you give someone in a, a real opinion in the league, so remember, when we, when we walk in the locker room, there's one thing on our mind. Everybody's on the same exact page. Who we're playing that week, how do we win the game? Yeah. That's it. Anything else is a distraction. And if you bring politics into that, right, in today's time, with everything that's going on, with the unrest and injustice and all these things going on, that's a whole nother conversation right now, I think, honestly. Yeah.